I'm sure many of you by now have heard the chaos that's going on out in Springfield, Ohio. I live about 45 minutes away from Springfield, Ohio, and I always pass that way a lot when I have to take my daughter to college or if I decide to go up north and go do some attractions or whatever. But it's a shame what is going on there because we know Mr. Trump is once again with his racist rhetoric. And this video is because you haven't seen none of these YouTube pastors, those that we've talked about, the ones that are in the, the that has a higher platform, the Robert Jeffers and all of the ones that support Mr. Trump. You haven't heard none of these evangelicals stand up and say, you know what? That is wrong. You know what, Mr. Trump, you know, you need to just stop it. They haven't stopped him after all of these many years. They continue to stand by his lies, his racist rhetoric, and his craziness. And unfortunately, once again today, they having to close the schools, close, close places because of threats from far extremists and all of this craziness. And now these poor Haitian people that are here legally, that's the, another thing. They're here temporarily, legally. I don't know, but they're here legally. They're not here illegally. And we, our governor has stated this over and over again. And yet the conspiracies continue. And you don't see evangelicals saying nothing. You ain't heard one word from none of the famous internet pastors that we see. And that, the, the, the ones, Marcus Rogers and, and all of these other ones, these right wing pastors. Uh, internet teachers you ain't you ain't heard one word about that that because you know that's like i've said these folks hearts are wicked their hearts are not in the right place because for somebody to set silent because they're quick to jump on anything else on a democratic person or somebody a liberal or an atheist or whatever somebody's choice that they're making in life but when they won't look at somebody that continues to promote violence within the United States, a guy that sought out violence on January the 6th and continues to push craziness and setting up for more violence, it just goes to show you where many of these evangelicals' hearts truly are. It shows you the inside and the deeper inner workings of their heart to show you that their hearts are wicked. Their heart, because for you to step back and have a platform, and such as the bigger platforms for all of these people from the uh, uh, Family Research Council, all of them people that are the that stand by Mr. Trump, that claim to be a, a Christian, and all of these others, and you ain't heard no word from Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House. You ain't heard none of it. Nothing to push back because you know why? Their hearts are wicked because. It's a shame that people like this in society are always getting kicked down more and more to the gutter and just shoved out of the way. And just like I've said on many of my videos, these are the types of people that if these so-called pastors, leaders, whatever you want to call them, if you walked into one of their churches, if you walked into one of their churches, you're not welcome. And that's just how it goes. You're not welcome there. And this is why churches are dying in America right now. Because people like this that are out here uh, 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 latching on to Mr. Trump and these lies and this racist rhetoric, lying about uh, geese being taken and eaten and, and animals being taken and eaten, all of this craziness and pushing these lies. And people fall for this and evangelicals are just going right along with it as usual. I mean, it's sickening. It is sickening to see this because the church, as I said, is just such an, in such a spiral. And this is just more evidence of it because you ain't heard one video, no peep from none of these so-called right wing Trump supporting pastors. And all of these people that, that, that are trying to shove religion down everyone else's throats. They don't they wouldn't care. They they don't care if harm comes upon these people. They don't care if harm comes with somebody that they don't agree with that are live that's living a gay lifestyle. They don't care if someone's harm that is coming to somebody homeless and has nowhere to go. They don't care. That's why I say their hearts are wicked. And they're you're not welcome in their sphere of their 
false version of perverted version of Christianity because that's what it is because Jesus would have never conducted and he never did and he would have he he conducted himself he give, gave us the example of the way we should conduct ourselves around those that are less fortunate the poor those that are cast to the lepers all of those that are within society that nobody wants anything to do with and for Mr. Trump to be able to get away with this and continue to, like it's nothing, to be at a 9-11 event with an election denier, Laura Loomer, which, which you know, in the video, some, some of you that watched the video of this MAGA video that I show you that she's possible press secretary if he gets in the office and all of this craziness. But evangelicals stand, continue to stand and don't, you know, they don't care. I mean, it, it just, it drives me insane. I, I just don't know what to say. It's sickening. You know, it made me think back. Many of you, several videos back, I talked about my grandfather, who was one of the first black barbers here in the city. Cut uh, hair for a quarter in the evening and shaves for a dime back in the day and worked in a steel factory along with immigrants that were temporarily over here from Germany, Romania, Poland, removing the cars and placing, you know, off, moving cars off the line, putting cars on the line. That's what he did. That's the type of work he did during the day and then did the barber shopping at night. And that's what he did. And he's working with. And now you get some people because somebody wants power so bad and wants to stay out of jail so bad that they're continuing to demonize folks and things. I remember as far as the city where, where I'm at here, Years back, about 20 years ago now, when the Latinos started immigrating here. And all the people at the jobs and my job, everyone, they were having a fit because of all of this. And, 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 it, and it continues. You know, people, they, they, they're losing their minds because of diversity. They're losing their minds and all of that. And what's the shame is within the church, it's happening the same way. Some of these churches... They don't want no type of, they don't care. They don't want no diversity within their church because they don't care about reaching lost souls. That's the bottom line. They don't care. A lot of them is about the bottom dollar. A lot of these YouTube channels that call themselves preachers and pastors or whatever, about the bottom dollar. And all they do is lie on the Lord. And you know what? The Lord is watching every one of them, including Mr. Trump and his actions. Of, if anybody becomes harmed, and anybody that has to worry and live under fear and threats and all of this craziness because of this talk, the Lord is, he sees exactly what's going on. And you know what? You think you're getting away with all of this, you pastors and your evangelicals that are sitting here pushing hate within society. You think you're getting away with it. But you know what? The Lord sees everything. He's omniscient. He's all knowing. And he knows exactly the wickedness within your heart. And guess what? He's going to deal with it in due time. And we'll continue to call it out on this channel every time. And we'll take the devil head on, punch it right in between the chops. Evangelism for God is the channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.